Hey Aquarius, Everlong Mystic here. So we're gonna get you a message. We're gonna start with the Alchemy of Sound Astrology just to kick it off, get a topic. Then we will switch to fortune cards. All right, what does Aquarius need to know? We have remove here. <clears throat> it's the retrograde card and let's see, what else does it say? Emotional power ballad, catch your drift, penetrate, ratify reality, deep in the heart, deeper still, acknowledge errors, just feels like <clears throat> Aquarius, there's something here that you are reconsidering. Maybe something that you kind of wrote off before you had written off and you're like, well, uh, uh, may maybe, maybe I was wrong, you know? So what are we removing? Maybe we're removing some doubt about something. Kind of <clears throat> got that retrograde. You're going to go back, take a closer look. So, what are we taking a closer look at? All right, I'm going to break this in half. Save the top half for later, and then we will cut this for our message. Alright, it's the feels. We got the cancer. Got the cancer feels. <coughs> Ooh, and Pisces. More feels. Oh, Aquarius. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we get more water? I mean, what are you swimming in here? Oh, how interesting. So we have the anchor, which is, you know, generally a card of uh, stability or slowing down, slowing down to take a closer look, but it's dry. Like there's no, this is a desert. Pretty sure that you are supposed to be supplying the water here. <clears throat> so what um what emotions are you bringing to the table? It's like you're trying to figure out what like what stability is for you or or something like that. It's like you're bringing I'm just feeling the flow, like even with just with the artwork here, just kind of flowing in this direction, flowing with water, you're bringing the emotions, right? And it has something to do with coming to a stop or kind of grounding you into something because this is not in the water. It's weird. It's like the... The water was all sucked up. I don't know. I'm getting more intuitive hits than like from the actual card cards. Sagittarius. And then it heats up. Okay. Why are you getting all of the astrological signs? Not all of them. It's just three. But Emily, we're lucky to get one in a reading. So really, is what Sagittarius is telling me here, it's really all about, uh, like, the future. It's the arrow is pointing towards the future, and there's, it's like there's some kind of higher learning you're meant to go towards, but you've got to get through, you've got to take a closer look at something, you've got to stop and 
I don't know, stop and smell the water? <laughs> I, I'm just fascinated that both of these, Cancer and Pisces, both came out back to back. All right, we might get some hints from the, the cards that come out underneath them. Aha! I love the balloon showing up. That is the freedom card. <clears throat> this balloon card is kind of like the white horse, right? The freedom horse. Like, be be free. Be free, Aquarius. Um, which I think is a lovely, a lovely energy for you. So <clears throat> we're retrograding. We're taking a closer look. We're re-examining something, perhaps removing a little bit of doubt so that, you know, we can be a little bit more free thinking here. So we have the fox coming out underneath Cancer. I kind of want to say that Cancer is more, like, is giving me more of a, a matter of the heart kind of energy here. And there's some kind of trepidation. Like, this fox does not appear as if they are being super cunning. They actually look like they are making sure it's safe in order to trot along, um, as far as just the image, right? I think there is something guarded here about, you know, like, the heart space, a matter of the heart. Either that or it's like you don't, it's weird. It makes me think of, like, not, like, not being, um, not wanting to be caught, um, with like a heart wish or something like you don't <sighs> okay how do I explain this so like um let's say you're <clears throat> you're at home with your family or whatever and um there's like let's say there's a certain kind of movie that you like to watch but you don't want to admit it to other, your friends or your family <laughs> you know like let's say um everyone around you thinks Hallmark movies are garbage and you're just like oh my god I just love them so much they're just like, they're, I look forward to them every year. The Christmas ones with the, you know, like the real typical story. Like, you just love it, right? Or like, let's say you like romance novels and everyone's like, oh my God, that sucks. Uh, it's, it's something like that where you have this, this thing that you want, this thing that your heart wants, but um, it's almost like you don't want <clears throat> people to know that want. Why are you keeping it secret? I guess it's coming out right next to the balloon, which it was like, set it free. Free yourself. <laughs> Be happy. We have the sun. Look at that. <laughs> so here with this Pisces, it's, it's, it has the, the Pi, this Pisces here has the potential for, like, emotions to be all over the place. Like, all of them. All of them, none of them, some of them, just, uh, it, there's a potential for emotional chaos with, uh, and, and the kind that leads to just being confused, right? And see, that's, that's opposite of what you're trying to do here, because you're trying to take a closer look at something, right? And look, like, it narrows it down right here. The sun. Focus on the happiness. Focus on the happiness. That's where how you're going to get where you want to go. And the sun right here, this is the center card. And it's going to be the center card in the whole spread. It's going to be in the center of the box. But I'm afraid. So we have the fear card here. <laughs> it's not funny, but I mean, it looks. I mean, the the little red riding hood here could very well be this tiny little fox being. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid to want what I want. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> 
It's like I, I feel like this this wolf, this scary wolf here, is is pure imagination. It comes from here. This swirl of anything goes emotions, right? So if you just kind of bring the focus back to your happiness, I feel like this will to can totally dissipate. <clears throat> but we've got another clue here as far as the fear goes, is that another fear could very well be dryness. Being dry, desert, like my love life is a desert land. Like there goes, I see a tumbleweed or, you know what I mean? Like afraid it's going to be like that forever or it's going to be like that or things are going to dry up. Oh, look at that. So we have education coming out under Sagittarius, higher learning, right? Ah, cool. All right, you're 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 basically kind of learning something about yourself here, Aquarius. And it's not so much, um, I don't feel like you're going to be surprised at all what you find. It's more of, it's, it's just more kind of just le learning why, like more inner workings of yourself. Like which emotions are connected to fears, which emotions are connected to, to <clears throat> like wishes. And whether those wishes are valid. So let's get a Lufruma. <clears throat> Lufruma, either advice or more message for Aquarius. Either advice or more message for Aquarius. Apple bear. All right. So we have card 49 here, apple bear, and it's fruit bearing offerings. It says we all grow from seeds to shoots to trunks, creating branches, bearing beautiful fruits. It's up to us to heal and prune, ready the room for our offerings. Not every branch is pure, nor every idea worthy of fruiting a thought into a seed. That's the key right there. <clears throat> That's what you're doing here with the remove, the retrograde, the the closer look. It's, you're removing doubt, but you're also like, you're kind of just pruning here, Aquarius. You're, you're just doing some, some, some pruning with your, with a focus on your own happiness here. And I freaking love that. says Thor does not repeat Odin's past. He walks towards your releasing his ancestral past to blossom, mature, and be his own apple bearer. And I see, I, and, and that's kind of what this, this education, Sagittarius energy pointing towards the future. It's like, that's, that's the future. You know what I mean? Because even like these hash marks, they, sh they go... They, they're following the Sagittarius arrow here. So let's grab the top half and get the rest of the message. Awesome. We have Clover, which is just good luck, basically. Everything's kind of better. And the two luckiest cards in the whole, in the whole, like, Lenormand are the Sun and the Clover. Whatever, it makes anything around them just 
better. <laughs> so you've got the sun in the center, and then you've got the very good luck card right next to the apple bearer. That is beautiful. It's a I mean, it's kind of a relief, right? Because you notice in this like retrograde card, this remove, right? It's it starts out a little bit dark. Even the background of these emotions, the background is a is a dark blue. And then this, you know, like the sun comes out, the clouds dissipate, the fog clears. <laughs> All right, so we have conflict here. This is a little, little bit of arguing, a little bit of fighting. Um, can be disagreements. <clears throat> it's it's about this. There's some kind of conflict here over what's yours. Luckily, it's it's not a huge deal here, Aquarius, because you've got the sun and the clover, kind of like um alleviating a lot of this conflict so I don't think that it's gonna be a big deal it's probably like a tiny little squabble that you get over very quickly um, in inconsequential <laughs> I would not worry about that and also because the conflict is coming out next to the clover it's giving me the feeling that it there could be like maybe some jealousy at the root of it you know, like if it's, it's like one of those things like, man, why did they, why didn't they respond that way? Weird. Like, oh, they might be a little jealous or, you know, it, it could be something, just something little like that. Nowadays. Okay. So we are in the now. We are in the present moment, Aquarius, which is the best place to be. Best place to be. And winter, which is like coming very shortly <laughs> and it's again it's like it's it's continuing that future that future feeling where Sagittarius is pointing to the future you've got this higher education this higher learning expanding your mind or consciousness and uh, you're just gonna keep you're just gonna keep going through the season right moving right along I like it and so <clears throat> The center card here, the sun, is is also connected to the four the four corners here. So we've got the sun connected to the Sagittarius and the winter, and both are like kind of in the future, right? Like the winter is in the very near future. <clears throat> For some of you, it already feels like winter. For some of you, you might be in a different hemisphere. Mm. Just like a do the reversey. <laughs> um, so this, there's happiness there, right? This, this arrow, you know, like the force behind the arrow is fueled with happiness. And it's like, you've got this cup of cheer right here. It's like, you called? Well, you know what? Grab yourself a nice little cup of tea and you will warm your belly right up. It just, it's very comforting. Like this feels very comforting. But also, the sun, this happiness, is also connected to these two. It's like you're meant to, you're meant to be your own fruit bearer here, right? You're not, oh, Aquarius, the water bearer. Maybe that's why the water, anyway. You're meant to be your own fruit bearer here. And it's like the, this, this basic, like, undercurrent of, <clears throat> of caring about yourself Caring about your own happiness, that's what really triggers this this retrograde or this removal or this closer inspection. It's because of your happiness. I like it. So Aquarius, this is your message. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye Aquarius.